loves, welcome back to my channel. Today we have a Shein haul. Thank you so much to Shein for collaborating with me on this haul. They have supplied all of the clothing. Everything will be linked down below for you and they also have provided you guys with a coupon code for 15% off and the code is just shortcake. All the info and all the links will be down below for you. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and jump into this haul. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I upload videos every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Okay, let's do this. Okay. First, I just wanna give you guys, I tell you this every time, but I'm gonna give you a little tip on Shein, you guys ask me all the time, how do I know what size to order? What do I get? What do, how do I know it's good? Look at the reviews, look at the stats, see what things are made out of. I love looking at the reviews and seeing the photos. People who supply those photos like, whew, MVPs, MVPs. I order everything usually in a size 4X, unless a 4X is not available, then I will get a 3X. On Shein, a 4X is a size US 20. I am US 20 at most stores, and I have found that it's pretty consistent. I think everything in this haul worked. I don't, there's only one item that was like a little bit off, uh, but this was a really good haul. So let's go ahead and jump into that. And I am 5'9", so I am a tall bean. All right, let's, let's jump. Let's do this. Let's do this. Also, if I look a little bit of a mess, I filmed two try-ons before this. Uh, so I was trying on clothes all day and I just filmed all of the Shein try-on. Okay, first let's talk about the top that I am wearing. I have this guy in black. They've had it for a while, but they did just release a few new colors and this is one of them, kind of a dusty rose. So I picked this guy up. They are so comfortable. They are a little bit oversized so they have extra room. They fit my arms really nicely. My arms are on the extra chunky side for the rest of my body. Um, a lot of times sleeves are tight and this one is perfect. It's got nice long sleeves that I can pull over my hands if I want to. The length is good. It's just like a really comfy t-shirt. It's like perfect for this time right now like we're getting into fall where it's a little bit chilly but not super super chilly. I did pick up one of the new prints that you'll see later in this haul. So I absolutely love this. Definitely recommend. I got mine in a 4X. All right, so when I tried everything on, I did try on all the dresses first, and then I went into other stuff. Uh, so if you're not really into dresses, you can kind of skip forward, but we're going to get through those dresses real quick. So the first thing we're going to talk about is this beautiful little green velvet dress. I did wear a dress almost exactly like this except for it had straps on it in my spooky lookbook. It was from Shein as well. Absolutely love that one too. Uh, they both are on the longer side, longer than I expected them to be. So this one is a green velvet. It's got a little ruffle at the top. It's got beautiful black lace at the bottom. I think that they put this in the Halloween section of their website, but I love it and I'm going to wear it anytime. <laughs> It'd be so cute with so many jackets, so many like sweaters. I love like a dark emerald green. So this is stretchy and comfy. It's got adjustable straps. Definitely, definitely a win on this little dress. And if green is not really your thing, again, they do have a very similar one in black that I absolutely love as well. Next, we're going to talk about this sun and moon kimono. You guys, I had so many of you guys reach out to me and say, Shannon, have you seen it? Have you seen it? Have you seen it? If you guys know, I love my suns and my moons. I love celestial stuff. I will wear it all year round. It's definitely not just a fall spooky season thing for me. This kimono is wonderful. It's a nice long length. I do love my kimonos to be really oversized, so I do wish it was a little bit bigger, but it definitely fits and it's definitely flowy. I just love to get them like two sizes too big when they're already flowy because I just want all the flow. Kimonos are great for multiple times a year. They're great for fall when it starts to chill down and you need like a little bit extra coverage, but they're also great in summer because they don't add too much warmth. It's a kimono. She cute. She cute. She cute. You guys know I love it. <laughs> yeah, I think this is the only real, really Halloween thing in this haul. I picked up this little pumpkin dress. It is black. It's got a sweetheart line. It is mesh. It's got little sequin pumpkins all over it. She is cute. She is cute. I do have a tip for you guys on the Halloween stuff if you are into it. A lot of you guys were waiting for the spooky book book and I'm so sorry. I got it out as soon as I could and I got it out the first week of October. I filmed it on October 1st and got it out like the next Monday after but she and apparently I didn't realize they were going to stop really restocking their Halloween which makes sense at the beginning of October. They restocked their Halloween a few times. There were multiple times where there was stuff that I wanted and it sold out right away and then I went back and I could get it or like it sold out more than once and then came back. They restocked that stuff multiple times. Times. So if you want something, I would just, I would try and grab it in September um, or like as soon as you can. So next year, if you're really into Halloween fashion like I am, I would just snag it. It looks like they stopped restocking stuff because by the time I got the spooky lookbook up, the couple items that I put in there that were from Shein were no longer available at all. Like I couldn't even link them. Like it didn't even say it sold out. It just was gone because they weren't going to restock it. So just if you're into it like I am, just grab it. But this little dress was perfect. It fit really great. The only thing that I don't love is that 
it's mesh on top so you can see your bra strap but honestly when my hair is done I normally don't really think too much about it because you can't really see it because my hair is covering it but I'm wearing a bun today because we just weren't weren't feeling doing our hair today so this is what we did and I was trying I knew I was going to try on a bunch of clothes so I was like I'm just going to bun it just easier especially okay the next dress is this really really cute I know I say cute too much um a little green like buffalo check dress this dress does not have stretch in it and it is pretty tight in the arms I do have larger arms for my size it's a very common thing for me and it was snug it was snug um I still I feel like I still could wear it it wasn't so tight that I couldn't wear it uh but it was definitely snug in the arms so I could make it work if I want to if you guys ever see a green plaid dress that has stretch in it let a girl know I feel like all the red plaid dresses out there have stretch in them but like none of the green do like I've I've tried I went from boohoo it was too tight in the arms like it's just a theme with me they just don't seem to fit this area correctly uh, but I love it and I could get away with it if you don't have larger arms for your size definitely jump on it if it's your type of thing I feel like it's just such a cute such a cute fall dress this with some like knee high boots so cute and I love that I love that it has long sleeves and I knew I was risking it getting it because it didn't have stretch but I did it anyway and it is like a flannel material very soft Okay, next we have a pleather dress. <laughs> this is one of those items that like I've always thought was cute, but I was like, oh, do, girl, don't do it. Lumps and bumps. But you know what? I've just been pushing myself, especially with spooky season. Uh, it's been so much fun to pretty much play dress up is what I feel like I'm doing and wear the things that I never, I told myself for so long I couldn't wear. I worked on Hot Topic for a very long time, so I was definitely surrounded by that type of fashion. Um, and I always just felt like I couldn't wear it. And for so long, it wasn't available in my size like anywhere but now these days you can find pretty much anything and Shein has pretty much anything um, for plus size women I just wish that they would expand their sizing if they would expand their sizing they could change the game change the game because they have so many options and so many styles that weren't available to plus size women before but yeah this little pleather dress it's longer than I thought it was going to be it's actually more roomy than I thought it was going to be most pleather dresses are made to be like skin tight and this one had a little bit of extra room the straps are adjustable there's lace at the bottom it's a cute little pleather dress I don't know I thought it'd be fun I'm excited to like put together an outfit with like a jacket and some tights and maybe a spooky hat I don't know um, and then I did try it on with a striped cardigan. You guys really loved that striped t-shirt from my last Shein haul, which I absolutely love too. Uh, but a lot of you guys were really excited about it. And a lot of you guys told me that you got it. And that's so cool. This is a really great cardigan. This guy I picked up in a 3X because it's only made up to a 3X. And it fits really good. It's not oversized by any means. Most of the time I love my cardigans to be like really oversized. Just having kimonos. I want everything. But then I want my jackets to be fitted. <laughs> it doesn't make sense. But it makes sense in my mind. Um, and this is a really cute cardigan cardigan I feel like you can put it with so many things that's why I love black and white stripes you can wear them any time of year but they are extra fun in spooky season and with them being black and white you can wear them with literally anything even though this guy was a 3x and I normally get a 4x it fit great so in their cardigans I was really nervous uh to get a 3x instead of a 4x because I just I, you never know but honestly they they Usually cardigans, you can go down to size and be fine, uh, but these definitely, I wouldn't, if someone told me this was a 4X, I would have believed them. So it wasn't much like off in size at all, but I really like it. And I like the contrasting buttons that they're like a neutral. Next we have this little leopard dress. This is one of their new items. Most of the stuff I picked out of either the Halloween section or their new fall stuff. They did a second launch of new fall items. And this dress was one of the first things in my cart. The model on the website, I think she had a hat on. Not 100% sure on the hat, but I know she had a waist belt on. And I thought it would be so cute to pair it with a little black waist belt. Love, 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 love. This fits great. There was extra room in it. The sleeves had extra room. It was a good length. It didn't feel too short at all. Everything about it was great. The only thing I didn't love is it came with like a tie waist thing that I don't think was even pictured on the website. So I didn't expect it to come with it. So it's not like it's a disappointment. Uh, but it's not really long enough. Like it is long enough to tie, but then you, the bow is so tiny that it just, it doesn't, I don't know if I'm going to tie something around my waist, I want it to be extra long so I can tie a cute bow, not like a teeny tiny little knot, you know, you know, but that's the only thing. Everything else. Love this. Love it. I cannot wait to style it. Okay, next, this, this little tiny, like, 
I think peplum. Is it peplum? I always, God, I always have it in my head. And then as soon as I sit down to film the video, I like forget completely what I was talking about. But this is just like a little floral top. I thought it honestly had little gold dots on it for some reason, but when it came, it was even cuter than I expected it to be. I have an eye in this. It is kind of a crop top, but it is one of those tops that has the strings down the middle that ruche. So you can make it into like a super crop top or make it a longer crop top. And I like it on the longer side, but I did like just like ruche it a little bit because I do feel like it kind of flatters the bust area. Um, makes your look a little more, you know, you know, so it depends on what you're looking for. If you have a large bust, you might not want to do that, but I don't have that large of a bust. So I like a little bit of ruching on it. Plus you kind of like see the ruching is really cool. Um, the print on this is adorable. I like the length. I'm so glad I got it because I've just been eyeing it and I was like, when am I going to wear that? It actually stayed on my shoulders surprisingly well. I've got like the narrow shoulders that like the swoopy shoulders that just like everything wants to fall off of uh, because they're they're like very rounded out and they go down and they're not that not that broad so things love to fall down on them so when I find tops like this that I really love and they just don't fall down love. I did try it on with these pants but they're just a pair of black skinny jeans but they have ties at the bottom. I just put them on as is but the ties are adjustable so you can make them tighter or looser. I honestly will probably make them tighter. Um, these jeans fit really great. They have gotten so much better at their jeans. I feel like it went from they didn't even fit at all to like kind of wonky to like problems with the pockets and now the pockets are great and they, they're they fitting good and they're actually high waisted and they actually fit my body. I really like these. They were a thicker jean. They were, I don't want to, they weren't tight or anything. These ones were a little bit more fitted than the last pair of jeans that I hauled in the last Shein haul. Um, but sometimes dark jeans, like they're very hit or miss. Sometimes I swear they're tighter than lighter jeans, but these are really cute. It was just something different. And I was like, hey, why not? Why not? It was just kind of going with the vibe of some of the stuff that I picked up so I grabbed these and they're actually really great so if you're looking for a pair of black skinny jeans like something a little bit different these are they're a good one okay we got to the next top that is a lot like this one oh, I am so I love the color of this one so this is pretty much the same top that I'm wearing right now sitting here but it's got leopard so the base of it is kind of a brown. This one also came in different colors too. I just felt inspired by the brown one very fall with the leopard sleeves. I feel like that one was even softer than this one is and even more comfortable than this one is. I just, I'm, I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. I love these tops so much. I know I already went on at the beginning all about the one I'm wearing. So you guys already heard that whole ramble, but I love them. They're so comfortable. 10 out of 10, 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Love. And I love the color scheme. And you guys know I love leopard. I am a very big leopard fan. So I love it. It's just, oh, that fall leopard. Fall leopard. I just, everything about it. I have this green sweater. I believe it was supposed to be off the shoulder. I feel like this one may have been a 3X as well, but it looked oversized, so I snagged it. This one I do think came in other colors as well. I'm always looking for a good olive sweater of any kind. I feel like they're always the first to go and it's always the hardest when I want one. It's always so hard to get. <laughs> I feel like it's definitely a lot of people's fall color of choice and I really love the knit on this one. I have a similar one in pink. Um, it's kind of like a bat wing situation. But this one's more of a true sweater. It was very comfy. It is a little bit thin but not in a bad way. It doesn't have a super wide neck so if you're one of those people who doesn't want one it's going to really fall off the shoulder but you can kind of situate it so it stays off the shoulder. Um, and this guy is for you. Good length. Nice and soft. I like it. I like it. Do recommend. Okay, this next top. This next top. I knew, I knew, again, I knew this was a kind of a risk. I knew it was a risk. I need to see the footage because when I put it on, I was like, I feel like this does not, this doesn't, this isn't, I don't know. I don't know. But on the model, of course, on the model, it looked perfect and cute. And I didn't even realize that some of the black striping on the bust was glittery. Oh my goodness. I, I, I want to try and put together an outfit with this because I think it's so, so cute. The arms are a little bit extra oversized and because of the material, I do feel like it's a little bit extra poofy, um, which I mean is probably the vibe and the intention. Um, I was actually surprised how it fit my bust. Normally tops like this don't fit my bust right and it was very, very close. It wasn't perfect, but it was very close. I was wearing a bra too. This is the type of top. It does have an underwire where you don't need to wear a bra if you don't want to. And I feel like it would be give you enough of a lift because it's fitted enough that you probably could totally go without one. It kind of has a cup in there. It fits so much better than I thought it was going to. 
of course it's a crop top so it's awkward and I have to pair it with the right thing and I don't feel like the way these jeans fit was the right thing with this top personally but I think with a cute skirt a high-waisted skirt that I could make a cute outfit out of it and it was just something different um but it was really cute and just polka dotted so I thought I'd give it a go Shein is definitely the place if there's something that you want to try it and you aren't sure try it from Shein because it's gonna be super affordable you know might as well then you're not missing out much. Plus you can return it if you don't like it. Okay, next we have this bodysuit, which is super cute. It's definitely a very basic bodysuit, but I thought, why not try it? This guy is one of the most comfortable bodysuits I think I've ever put on. There's so much extra room. It's super stretchy. It's got buttons, but the buttons are kind of faux buttons where they exist, but it's not going to pop open or anything. It's definitely going to be long enough if I want to snap it, I can. The arms fit great. Everything about it was just like super comfy. It was just some, the kind of material they made this bodysuit out of was definitely a win. So, so comfortable. And I feel like bodysuits like this are such a good staple, especially for fall to layer up. You can layer it with pants, with skirts, with jackets, with flannels. There's so many things. And this one's such a good one that it's very basic, but it's got the little buttons on it and you could definitely dress it up, dress it down. I was, I was very impressed at the comfort of this bodysuit. So if you've been looking for a nice basic one, I also feel like because it was so comfortable, if you're kind of office size and you aren't sure that either way, if it's a little bit too big or a little bit too small, it's going to work for you because of the amount of stretch and give in this bodysuit. So definitely love, definitely recommend. Okay, I paired it with this tan cardigan. I think this guy also may have been in a 3X. I'll double check and I'll leave it down below for you guys what size I ordered everything in. Almost everything was a 4X, but a couple things were a 3X. Uh, love this. It is kind of an open knit, so you have to be a little bit careful. A larger knit, I guess. I wouldn't really call it, I guess it's an open knit. I don't know my knits, I don't know, but it does have, it's a little bit more open. So it is more prone to snagging. I got my nail and I was like, oh no, like I knew I was gonna snag it, I was positive. And I actually didn't. So I'm very thankful for that. But just keep that in mind where it is one of the ones where you it may be prone to snagging because of the type of knit that it is, not just because of the sweater itself. If that makes sense. Any sweater with this kind of knit is going to be a little bit more prone to snagging. But it is super affordable and it is super comfy and I love the sizing on it. And the sleeves were really long and I love long sleeves and it had really cool little buttons on it that were all like irregular shaped. Again, me and my like neutral shades for fall all about it. Okay. The very last thing we're talking about is this pair of leggings. I had kind of a love hate with these. They are very cute. They have little zippers on them, but honestly, most leggings I wear super high and then I wear something long over them. So no one's going to really see them unless they were like an exceptionally flattering pair of leggings, which most leggings aren't. Let's get real. Um, personally, not that everything in this world is about being flattering. It's not. Clothing is not only made to be flattering. Clothing is made for you to express yourself in whatever makes you feel good. Not what world's perception of you and the ultimate goal in life is not to be thin, at least not for me. I'm trying not to put that value on the size of my body and I hope that you do the same. Um, also try not to comment on people's body. Have you seen that TikTok where it's like, stop commenting on people's bodies? With, okay, this is not just a Shein problem. This is a universal pleather legging problem. The only pair that I, I have had one pair of pleather leggings from Torrid that did not wiggle its way down. I don't know, maybe if I had gotten one size down, they would have stayed up more, but I would try it on a few things with these on. And if I bent over, if I took a step, they started wiggling down. They were snug. I have, I have thick legs. I'll give myself that. I, have, I, you know, I have thick legs. So it could be part of it. Maybe they were just tighter in the legs and they are around my butt, but they just kind of wiggled down. If I'm wearing something long over them, that's not going to bother me as much because no one's going to see if they start to like get a little bit low, but they are a little bit low in the back that if I was to wear something like tucked into them, like I had the bodysuit tucked into them, they would be showing my, my boot crack before long. So that's the only thing on these, but it is kind of a common problem with pleather leggings for my body type. I don't know if you guys deal with the same thing, uh, but that was the only thing. Otherwise they were great. Uh, I'd be open to trying one size down to see if they would stay up a little better because there is so much give in pleather leggings. I feel like a size down would have still, I still would be able to get them on my legs, but maybe it would fit my butt better. I almost rather have them a little bit too tight because then they'll stay up because they just want to go down, <laughs> you know? All right, love. So that is everything for this Shein haul. I hope you guys liked it. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. And please subscribe if you haven't already. Let's be friends. I upload videos every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. We do plus size fashion, beauty, vlogs, food videos, all sorts of stuff. So if that sounds good to you, I would love for you to stay. Uh, yeah, I think I rambled enough. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. I will talk to you soon. Bye. Why you chew on stuff? 
I can't ever remember the name. I always want to say peplum, but it's not a peplum. Draw myself nuts. Bodysuit, but I thought, oof, let me situate. I'm sleepy. This bun is crazy. Don't judge me. I tried on so many clothes before this. 